Hi creators, in today's tutorials, I will show you how to add enemies HP. I will also show you how to add enemies HP bar. Also, if you need more styles of HP, check out the video at the end of this tutorial. Right now, I have a fluff ball that moves up and down. To store the amount of HP that the fluff ball has, I need a counter. Then we go to the counter settings. Let's say I want the max HP to be 3. I have to change the starting value to be 3, which is the max HP. And then I have to change mode to range. And the range is from 0 to 3. The count timing is on change from 0. Okay, let's close it. So now we have the counter to store the amount of HP that currently the fluff ball has. Next, we have to count how many hits the fluff ball has gotten. So we have to detect if the fluff ball is hit by the bullet. Let's check the bullet implementation. For the bullet, I select the launch object to be the sphere. So I have to detect whether a sphere has touched the fluff ball or not. To achieve that, I have to add a touch sensor at the same size of the fluff ball. Then I attach it to the fluff ball. I go to the settings. The connection point is center to center. And I turn off visible because I do not want to see the thin white line. Then output timing is on touch to prevent multiple counts. And check what? Here I want to check the sphere because our bullets are spheres. When the fluff ball is hit by the bullets, we have to count down the counter. But you see that, even now if the counter has hit 0, nothing will happen. So we have to make sure that when the counter reaches 0, it will destroy this fluff ball. So we need the destroy nodon. We want to destroy this fluff ball so we connect the destroy nodon to the fluff ball nodon. And we have to go to the settings, destroy what? Here we have to destroy the fluff ball. And then we have to remove visible. The connection point is center to center because it should be at the because it should locate at the same place as the fluff ball. Proceed. The next thing is that we have to activate this destroy nodon when counter reaches zero. So to do that we need a not nodon. We link the output of the counter to the not nodon. The output of the not to the fluff ball. So when the counter reaches zero, it will send zero signal here. And because of not, the signal here will be one. And the destroy nodon will be activated and destroy this fluff ball. In a fluff ball configuration, we have to make sure that it is destructible by the destroy object. Okay, let's test it. Three hits, everyone. One, two, and three! Yay! Okay, so in the next step, let's add the HP bar. To add the HP bar, we need an extending object nodon. Let's select this. We resize it to match the size of the maximum HP. Let's say I only want the lens to be this size when the fluff ball has max HP. Then I go to the settings. I do not want the bar to be so thick, so I change Z to be 0.1. And memorize this value guys, like the maximum length of the bar is 0.8. The connection point should be from Y negative to Y positive because we want the HP bar to be at the top of the fluff ball. We need to reduce this extending box by negative 0.8 when the counter is 0. So here we need a map nodon. And we connect the output of the counter to the map. And we go to the map setting. The input range is from 0 to max HP, which is 3. So when it is 0, it must be negative 0.8. So the output range is from 0.8 negative to 0. Because when we are map because when we are at the max HP, we do not want to shrink the extending box. And then we connect the output of this map to the export. 
And we also have to connect this to the fancy object. So now you can see the HP bar at the top, but it looks too close to the fluff ball. Let's change it. So to add a padding between the bar and the fluff ball, I will add the invisible box. I go to the configuration, disable everything except movable. And the connection point is from Y negative to Y positive. Close it. And I connect this to the fluff ball. And then I remove this. And connect the box with the extending box instead. Okay, let's test it. One hit, two hit, miss, two hit, and three. Yeah! So, yeah, that's it. Lastly, please click like and subscribe for more GPG tutorials. Bye-bye, and see you next time!